This afternoon is a chance to have direct dialogue with the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. Thank you. Hello, hello. Can y'all hear me? What's going on, y'all? How are you? Man, when I came in our Air Force, it was very different. Back in the early 90s, we had at that time almost double the amount of airmen serving in the United States Air Force. Back then, we were focused on really three primary domains, air, land, and sea. You had to be strong. You know, you had to have a strong Army, strong Navy, strong Air Force, and really that was it. And so what I might offer, right, it's 2022, and now here we are in this inflection point in history where it's not just good enough to be strong in air, land, and sea, but you have these other domains called information, cyber, and space. And I might offer that if we lose in any of those last three domains, we lose, period, right? You can't even generate air power if we lose in those last three domains. And that's why, you know, when I say, hey, our job is to compete, deter, and win from the National Defense Strategy, I would offer we cannot do that without our cyber and our IT professionals, period. And because we're at this inflection point in history, you know, General Brown penned his eight-page strategic approach when he first got in the seat called Accelerate, Change, or Lose. And he said, and the way we're gonna get after it is these four action, action orders, airmen, bureaucracy, competition, and design. What's our Air Force need to look like in 2030? What's it need to look like in 2035 and 2040? How can we make sure that our force is what it needs to be to be able to defend our nation and be the force that our nation is gonna require of us in 10 years from now? We cannot continue to play the short game. We have to be focused on the long game. And I'll tell you that from my seat, that's absolutely what we're focused on.